So I thought I'd have a little fun today with this video and um, do it a little differently if you can't tell. So um, what I wanted to talk to you about is grammar. One, see, some people don't feel like it's necessary to learn any grammar because it's kind of a natural thing, right? Like we, we use grammar all the time even if we don't know it. But grammar is actually important, you know, when you're thumbing along in the Bible and it says for and therefore, um, it just, it connects everything. I mean, you'll have an entire chapter of the Bible, like take Romans chapter 8, for example, and open up there and look at everywhere it says and, you know, so it's like, a lot of times it's just one big continuing thought when you're going through the scriptures like there's no breaks everything's connected to everything else you know Romans um, so this is a little bit of a divergence from the topic of this but everywhere it says or um, sorry Romans 1 is connected to Romans 16 like, it might not say and all the way there, but that's one thing you have to learn. Like, the entire book is written within a framework, within a context. So, without Romans chapter 1, you don't have Romans chapter 8, right? And chapters and verses were put in there much later anyways. So, um, that was a, a modern innovation to the scriptures. It wasn't always like that. So, what I just wanted to speak to you real quick about was grammar. Um, there's books by like, um, like I can't remember the last name, I'm gonna do another video soon, but like the last name of the guy is Mounts and he does a book on the grammar in the Greek and there's a guy named Macon, M-A-C-H-E-N, and then there's a, um, there's the Hebrew Greek keyword study Bible and it actually has um, grammar in there as well and I'll do a video just kind of helping you understand some more about the grammar of the Bible so all right um, thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video take it easy bye